Hey guys, Spazic Spinach here, and today we're gonna be um, uh, I'm gonna be doing a tutorial how to use OBS. This is like this is different from what I normally do, but uh, while my Warface is downloading, um, I'm just gonna do tutorial here, a quick tutorial how to do things because it's been on my mind. Well, you probably you guys probably wanna know how I get you know get recordings done. Now, what you wanna do is go to your settings, right? Actually, first off. Before you even start that, you gotta go to. Uh, let's wait for it. Okay, you're gonna. I'm just gonna Google search OBS. And then once that pops up, you're gonna have to go to Open Broadcaster Software. Now what I did, I got this. Uh, OBS 0.657 that with that but you can use the multi-platform but that's not what this tutorial about that's something completely different um, I might do a tutorial on this I'm not sure because I really have never even touched that before so you want to go there download that there should be a setup thing down there to the bottom left where my mouse is and um you do that, you follow the stuff. You might have to download something called like the Direct X or whatever it is. Um, I downloaded that, so you can download that too probably. And then what you're gonna do is um you're gonna go to your settings. Now in your settings you're gonna have uh hold on, let me uh, expand this out a little bit. So you guys can probably see but oh I can't. Oh that's beautiful. Alright. So in your settings you're gonna have General encoding. This is what you want to do. Wait for it to load a little bit. Okay. Uh, unclick that. Uh, use CBR. Don't use that. Now the max bit rate. Uh, people put this at six thousand. I would recommend like three thousand five hundred, or yeah, three thousand five hundred, or something like that. I did this because I just want to test out, see if it like, uh, see if, like what it would do. And I think that should be it for encoding. Yeah, uh, quality balance you can probably set that to ten. I mean, I, I like, I, like you shouldn't really care to care too much about that. And then broadcast settings, make sure you set this to MP4 instead of FLV, because some programs only use MP4s. And also, if you upload an FLV to YouTube, I don't think you can anyway. But it might take a really long time. So I would not recommend doing that. So just put it as MP4. Um, yeah, people just use video converters and stuff like that. I would not do that. Just set it MP4. Make your whole life a whole lot easier. And then after that, I got 10, 1080p. I got 1080p uh, to with 60 FPS, even though it says like 27 or something like that. I mean, that's, my computer's just being a total jerk to me today. But if your computer legs like the crap out of you, I suggest narrowed it down to 720, right there. Or if you have a computer that's just yeah, that can't handle 1920 by 1080, just set it by whatever. Um, your computer has, which if you go to properties, I think, right, oh crap, <laughs> whoops, alright, if you go down to the bottom left, go to that, and then you go to more, and then you go to properties, it should be, uh, should say it right here, oh wait, no, 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 I'm sorry, you go to display, display, There we go, it should, should be right here. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, whatever your display says, um... Huh. Uh... I don't know how to change it, like, I don't know how to find that. Well, I'm gonna pause recording, I'll be right back. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. You just click down to advanced display settings, and then you should see it. 
Um. Yeah, it's 1920 by 1080. Alright, you can change it too right here. But um, I, w I wouldn't touch that. Yeah, uh, like I said before, if it like if you can handle 1920 by 1080, and but it, you like it lays the crap out of you. Narrowed it down to 30 FPS, or you can have it go down to 1280 by 720, and then have it at 60 FPS. Now for advanced, uh, I really wouldn't change anything. I guess you guys can copy this. I mean, I didn't really change much. I think I might have set my priority class. Uh, hold on, guys. All right, I'm back. Uh, what I forgot to mention before was that um, if like it's an advanced, um, I set mine to. To 250, I don't think they did. I watched the different tutorial on it. It was a long time ago, so I'm not sure if that rule still applies. For this. Um, but what it did necessarily was that, um, actually, I have no idea. I think it just like the laser. That's all I know. And then, um, like delays the screen. And then, uh, I set this to ultra fast, even though it would pop up with the warning said like your graphics would get messed up or something like that. I I don't know what that does exactly, but just you know, uh, I think it just makes it faster for your computer to process it. And then I set this to main. I think that's all. Oh yeah, I also put that as well. So that's it for um, the like, settings and stuff like that. Now, what you want to do, see how uh, I have my scenes, uh, think of it as like a folder, and then these are like your files. So, you just add a folder right here, or scene, just add scene, uh, name it, whatever you want, like Xbox or something. And then, you go, oh, sorry, yeah, you can go to Xbox, I'm not going to switch it to that because my screen will go black like we just did. And, um, but if your sources, here's like your main stuff right here. Now if you right click and go to add, there's multiple stuff right here. Now if you're capturing a game that's like full screen, you want to go to game capture. And then whatever you want. Now it should automatically pop up the game that you want to play. It should normally. But I don't think uh well I'm not playing the game this time, so. Oh yeah, so like that that doesn't that won't pop up. But if you wanna play a game like Firefall or uh Brawlhalla, you just have to fuck this. You go to properties, you see how like the game says Brawlhalla right there. And then if you wanna record a game capture, you can do yeah, you can capture the device. So I use my hop hog to capture. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. I, I really don't know how to use it. But what I normally do is that I go to window capture. I had a um, hop hog capture down the bottom right, but uh, I have no idea what happened to that. Um, yep. Yeah. Like um, I had to refresh my PC, so I, I have no idea what happened. What happened to that? Um, I think that's it for the tutorial there. I mean, um, oh, uh, actually one more thing, uh, you can go to edit scene, and, like click on your screen and like minimize it or expand it out, but I'm just going to leave it as, as it is because you're going to need that like, um, or you can go to, like, you can go to this, go to properties and, uh, go to subregion, select subregion to select like a certain part, which I'm not going to do, but you can do. See, like you can just minimize it right there, some of that to capture some certain area, which I'm not gonna do. But um, I think that's all for the tutorial. It, um, if you guys want, please subscribe to my channel, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.